My name is Nathan McCourt, and I'm a digital transformation engineer here at Avaya. Today we're going to show you how we can use the common smart home and how we can use that smart home to be a digital channel for contact centers. So here I have an Amazon Alexa and a Google Home, and on the right hand screen I have an agent desktop. So I'm going to show you an example of how we can use this smart home for a travel agency. So I'm going to use the Google Home, and the Google Home is going to ask me where I'd like to go, when I would like to go, and how many people are going to come with me. So as an example here, Hey Google, I want to talk to my Avaya travel agent. Sure, here's the test version of my Avaya travel agent. Hello, I am your Avaya travel agent. How can I help you? I want to take a trip to Seattle. That sounds exciting. When do you want to leave for Seattle? April 5th. I have a lot of people asking me about Seattle that time of year. I know you'll have fun. How many people are going with you? Two people. Okay, I see that the next agent will be available in seven minutes. Would you like an agent to contact you as soon as they are available? Yes, please. Great, is it best to have the agent call you or text you? Have them text me. Perfect, you should receive a text message shortly. Please reply to confirm your spot. I will have an agent contact you about your trip to Seattle as soon as possible. Can I help you with anything else? No, thank you. Talk to you later. Thank you for using my Avaya travel agent. I hope you're enjoying Engage. Talk to you again soon. Perfect. So the Google Home was able to collect information about me, and I can actually see it here on my phone that I received a text message. So if I open it, I can see this is my Avaya travel agent. An agent will be contacting you shortly regarding your trip to Seattle. Please reply to confirm this is actually your number. So I will reply. This is actually my number. So I've replied to confirm my spot. And what that did was it actually gathered all the information about me and was able to search based on work assignment how soon an agent would be available if there wasn't available immediately. It read back the amount of minutes and was able to tell me, you know, how long until roughly I will be contacted back based on my text message I received, my, received in my phone. So now on the right hand screen here, we can see we have our, desktop, our agent desktop and I can see an interaction card coming in. And I can see that it's uh, coming from an SMS message. And here, the first thing that pops up is uh, our screen pop. And on the screen pop here, I can see my CRM profile. And what this helps is it helps the agent decide, you know, okay, who am I talking to? What is their interaction with us? You know, maybe some transaction history from that customer. And so they can see that it is me, Nathan McCourt, and they can see all my interactions within my CRM profile. So here we're using, in this example, we're using Suite CRM. This could actually be Salesforce or Zoho or any other CRM profile system, but in this demo environment, we're gonna use Sweet CRM, and that's part of the screen pop. On the left here on the desktop solution, we can also see that the agent can then open the SMS message, and they can see that I reply with, this is actually my number. So they can see my interaction that came in. They can see what I texted uh, to that uh, interaction, replying to confirm my spot. And then as an agent, they can reply back saying, hello, this is my Avaya travel agent. And so they reply back, and then on my phone here, I can see, hello, this is my Avaya travel agent. So now I'm in a two-way texting conversation with this agent. I started on the smart home, and the smart home was able to schedule a text back with me and this agent here, and now I'm texting with the agent. But what I mentioned in the beginning was that the smart home was going to gather that information about me and then store that information so the agent can view exactly what I was doing or what I was asking and talking to with the smart home. So on the agent desktop here, I can see there's the customer journey widget on the left-hand side. And the customer journey widget takes me to a map of all the interaction points that I've had as a customer with that company. So here we can see the individual swim lanes from SMS to voice. And we can also see two included for ones for Google Assistant using the Google Home and the other ones for Amazon Alexa using the Amazon Alexa here. And so those are showing the interactions that I've had using those smart homes as a way to contact with that company and get contacted through the contact center here. And so if I look at the most recent uh, Google Assistant interaction touch point all the way on the right, I'll be able to see all the information that the smart home was able to gather about me when it asked me those questions. I can see where I wanted to go in the destination. I can see when I wanted to go, and it actually gave me a willing to spend number. And that willing to spend number is a calculation based on uh, a little bit of processing that went on in the background. It actually did a calculation of how many people were going, so we have two people, and then it took that airfare times two from, we're in the Chicago office here today, and so from Chicago to Seattle, 
what is that total airfare times two? It was actually able to apply an amount that me as a customer was potentially willing to spend. So that is giving a value to me at, with that company. And so based on that, maybe if I'm valued a little bit higher, I will be routed to maybe a better agent or an agent that's able to help me uh, be processed a lot quicker. And so that is using the business rules engine on the back end to make that uh, decision. And it's using all that calculation based on the flight prices and airfare to route through business rules engine and then get me best connected with the best agent available to help me. Am I willing to spend more? All right, let's get them to the best agent. Am I not maybe spending so much? Well, maybe let's bump them down in the queue and maybe they won't get such a good agent because they're not as valuable to us. And so that's very, very powerful to have because the assistant never actually asked me how much I was willing to spend. It just uh, used all that information based on what it asked me to do a bit of background processing. It's a very powerful tool to have on the back end. And that's using, like I said, the business rules engine to do that decision routing. So that's it. I mean, that was showing how we could use uh, Smart Home to gather information about, information about customers and then put that information into a nice context store. And then the context store is showing the customer journey map to agents and then doing all the bit of routing based on how valuable that customer was to us. And so this all shows how we can use a smart home a lot more naturally versus having to dial into a 1-800 number and then going through an IVR, pressing one or two, or maybe you know typing in or saying where you wanna go. A lot of people and customers wanna use smart homes these days. And this was all showing how we can use the common smart home as a digital channel for contact centers. And so I hope uh, for Avaya that we can start using this as a more robust digital channel. And I hope our uh, customers with Avaya will see that this is a very valuable tool to have within your company. We showed here a travel agency, but this could definitely apply to insurance companies, banks, or any other company that needs to have some sort of a gathering uh, from customers before that customer gets connected to an agent. Uh, so thank you. Yeah, thank you for spending time with us to learn about how we use the smart home as a digital channel. And uh, I hope you learned something. Thank you.